Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Check out our last tutorial, and subscribe to stay updated. Now start with new project, create new composition. Make sure to keep this settings and, set duration to 6 seconds and hit OK. Now import your background and logo, into the timeline. Now pre-compose your logo, and rename it, and hit OK. Now go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Glass, and drag it into your pre-composed layer, or logo layer. Now explore this surface option, change its softness to 46.4% and height to 10.0%. Now search for CC Pixel Poly and drag into your logo layer. Change its force 1%, gravity to 0%, and spinning to 5 degree. After this we'll get this amazing crack effect on our logo. Now lastly, search for CC Radio Fast Blur, and drag into Logo Layer. Go to its effects setting, and change its amount to 5%, and select Zoom to Darkest. Now right click on Logo Layer, go to Layer Styles and select Drop Shadow. Now click on Logo Layer, and select Pen Tool. Now create a mask on your logo, with zigzag shape. Like a break of glass. Now click on logo layer, explore it. And then explore the mask and set its properties to none. And again, create another mask on logo, but this time create a small mask just like to make our animation more dynamic. Here, again set this mask properties to none. Now press Ctrl plus D, and create two more duplicate of this logo layer. Now click on third layer, and explore its mask. Now do same with the other logo layer too. Now on second logo layer, change its mask 1 properties to add. And on third logo layer, change the mask 2 properties to add. And finally on first logo layer, change the both mask properties to subtract. Now click on first layer. Go to its effects. And disable these two effect. As you can see, only on the masked portion crack effect is applied. And this is looking very amazing. Now select all logo layers, and click S. To open up scale properties. Now click on its stopwatch, it will create keyframe on all three layers. Now. Select these all logo layers keyframes, and move this to just 1 seconds forward. Now change the scale value to 9000%. This will create keyframe on starting of this logo.
Now select all keyframes, right click, and make it easy ease. Click on this graph editor, and make sure you have enabled this speed graph. Now select and move this bar. Just like that. Now click on second layer. And on this CC pixel poly effect, change its start time to 1 second. And on third layer, change its start time to 2 second. This way the crack animation will start from that point. So we'll get a really dynamic logo animation. Now download this file, link in description. Now drag this into timeline. And place it below all logo layers. And change its mode to add. And also change its opacity to 50%. Now select this logo layer, and press U, to reveal its keyframe. And taking the reference of this keyframe, Place this explosion starting position to match up the logo drop timing. It should start after the logo gets hit on the background layer. Cool. Now lastly, activate this motion blur. And also enable this motion blur to all your logo layers. Let's preview this. Awesome. As you can see, the logo is get scracked, just after it hit the background. Now last create a text layer. Write your text. And align it to center. Go to effects and search for typewriter and drag into the text layer. Now click on text layer, and press U. Adjust its keyframe, and easy ease them. Let's preview this. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, also don't forget to subscribe. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.